now? No. Okay, so I'll continue. Um, I wanted to go briefly over the history, the history of the city of Washington that has passed out. I'm going to read a little bit of it. I'm going to acknowledge some of our first Easter neighbors. In 1969, youth from four congregations, Harlem, Brooklyn, Mount Vernon, all in New York and Morristown, New Jersey, were brought together in a choral group by the former and director, Sister Dorothy Carmen Wells, by the founder and director, Sister Dorothy Carmen Wells. The chorus has been directed by Sister Wells for the last 50 years. And his purpose was then and is now to develop young minds and mentor youth through a single ministry fostering a nation to value love for family and respect for self. The group's first performance was in Dorchester, Massachusetts, gathering in cars we drove to Boston for the weekend, for those who were in the group at that time. This first public performance was a great experience. It was well received. Of course, we didn't have a name, but who cared at that time? We just loved to see it. We continued to rehearse once a month, and after returning from a national conference in Oklahoma, it was decided it's about time we have a name. So the late brother Charles Singleton said, how about the Eastern Airs, since you are all from the East Coast? We agree that would be the name, and here it is 50 years later. The group traveled to Nashville, Tennessee, and had a great performance. Since that time, the Eastern Airs have been one of the most well-known choral groups in the Brotherhood. 30 congregations have been represented from New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, and Pennsylvania, traveling to over 26 states. The 1990s saw the addition of the children of the first Easterners and the grandchildren of the first parents and counselors. Easterners have grown up and gone on to do great things with their lives. One of the group's first counselors, Sister Doshia Bowling, put it this way, I'll be proud of you with your many accomplishments and degrees, but mainly because of your favor for us to God. Amen. I want to take knowledge a couple of our Easterners from 1969. His brother Kevin Best here. Yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. Just text me. She sent her love. She said she wanted to give you a really big hug, and she always had a fresh one. <laughs> and uh, also, Sister Shirley Nancy. She here. She's not here, folks. Pam, I'm too late. Yeah. All right, so you stand up for her. This is also going to tell a couple of stories from the 70s. Um, I crossed over from the 70s to early 80s. And uh, my brother back there from New Park was also with me in the East Dance at that time. The story I had, it'll be probably brief, was a time that my sister was, was up here, she's still on her way was that it was Donald Perry, who was a member of the group, who was from Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. Some of you know him. Yeah. Uh, he loved James Brown. Yeah. All of us at one time or another spent the night at Sister Wells' house. So on this particular evening, um, I don't, I know Brother Wells had more than one car, but a bunch of us were staying at Sister Wells' house. I think we had a trip to go. And I, I think that it was unique, but I believe, if I can, Donald will correct me, that we were able to use a car to go downtown flushing to go to a movie. So we went down, down on myself and I forget a few others that were there and went to the movie theater. It was really cold outside. And what I remember is that um, we decided that we would keep the car running when we go to the movie. So we So when we did that, when we went to the movie, when we got out, the car was out of that gas. But it was kind of slightly warm still. You know? So uh, we lost a dread. This was coming down and telling her the story. Let's get this was again. This was as you picked your way in. There's a group of us in the 70s spending the night at your house. And we used the car and we ran out of gas and kept it on. I don't know if I ever told you that story. So we all, at the time, we did not 
had cell phones, obviously, so we had to, somebody had to get out, call on a payphone, call the house, and we're dreading calling a late doctor as well. So we did so, and all of us at that time had big afros. We had bell bottoms, platform shoes, and we were the first one that had the, the, the biggest and the highest shoes. <laughs> was the coolest. So we're all in there, and uh, he drives up Brother Wells very slowly to the car, because we used this car, this car, and run out of gas. And all of us tried to hide. We said, what was the We're hiding behind each other's afros. <laughs> so the woman just rolls down, he rolls down, Brother Wells just looks at us, and I keep my head straight. I'm just looking straight. I think God was like, we ran out of gas. Like that. So we all really quietly got out the car, got into his car, didn't say a word, went all the way back to the house, to Sister Wells' and Brother Wells' house. All was going in quiet, and so you could hear um, you could hear a mouse. He goes upstairs, and we get the door shut, we fall out laughing. <laughs> and this is one of my memories of what the East Nance has been to still have these relationships, um, to know that uh, right now, Donald is uh, at the radio station in Atlanta, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so many of us have gone to do so many things. People went into law enforcement, social work, politicians, doctors, lawyers, advanced degrees, of course, ministry as well. So the East Nance has been this wonderful, beautiful family where we've been able to support each other. Amen. We have fellowship to know that in almost any state that we go to, we can call someone and know that there's someone there and that someone that cares for us. So what a special ministry this, this has been. It's just supposed to be thinking for that. Are we going right into the senior tribute? And so that's where we are. We're going to move forward at this time. Is there someone coming up to take over? I'll give you some history on this. This particular event was started by Sister Nancy Thomas, Teresa, um, Kim Hayes, to name a few. And they thought, why don't we celebrate our young people? If you look at some pictures that Sister Wells has and kind of freestyle on this, there's some pictures where you see a group of Eastern Air standing on the stairs of Washington. Because we got to remember in the 60s, there was a civil rights movement. Oh, and she was very much involved in that. And very much on, on making sure that we would have integrity and that we would promote justice and equality. Um, you know, I think of what was happening in 1965. I think Jim Jackson was shot. There was voter registration that was being promoted back then for African Americans to make the vote. We had certain types of, uh, at that time, there were certain types of forms and things that were very difficult in order to keep people from voting. And the reason I'm talking about this is that the East Nance has not only been just something that has been fellowship, but its educational components are very, very important as well. You want to speak now? Okay. We're going to get to the opening prayer. And who's doing that? I want to Thank you so much. So proud. Have a congregational song, Tony Parker. 
Judge A.G. Lawton. Thank you. Cisco Wells, counselors, parents, fellow Easterners, friends, and guests, good evening. Good evening. I would like to thank Sister Denise West for granting me the opportunity to stand before you tonight as I welcome you to our 50th annual Easterners Concert. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We are grateful for your presence tonight and we hope you enjoy the performance. A special a spe oh, special message to our seniors as they are being recognized. As you prepare to face more challenges to come in your lives, I want to remind you of the gift you possess. Confidence to face another chapter in your life. Amen. You have grown and matured over the past few years, and I hope you realize how blessed you are to be surrounded by such great people to pull you through when you needed someone. Amen. We thank the parents and the guardians that came out to support them on this special occasion. For the friendships you have made, I hope they will last a lifetime. Fellow Easterners, counselors, parents, and directors, let us continue to support, encourage, and help each other to succeed in the years to come. Permit me to give you a little guidance as we move forward. Never doubt yourself. Remember that you are a child of the Most High King, who lives and reigns forever. I would like to remind you all of the scripture, Ephesians 3.20. Now to him who was able to do exceedingly and abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the powers that work in us. Amen. The Easterners have been active for 50 years, and we are thankful to the Churches of Christ that have contributed and invested in our group. Yeah. This scripture serves as a reminder that God can and will do exceedingly and abundantly for the Easterners, beyond anything we could imagine. Again, we thank you for your presence tonight. May God bless you and enjoy our performance. It's a congregational song right now. It says, East and Air Love. Who would like to come up and sing?
the senior, the senior tribute, just wanted to take a moment and just say how grateful I am to Dr. Lord and for allowing all of these years for the youth conference to be here to celebrate, to allow young people to be celebrated. And we love you so much on behalf of the Eastern Dance and Dorothy Wells. And we just like everyone just to give them a hand. Steadfast and movable, always yeah. about yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. And that's yeah. what's been exemplified. Whether we're here, whether we went away to school, whether we did whatever, and we came back, these great men were still right here. Yeah. It's just taught us. Amen. Gave us that example. So thank you so much. We love you, dear. Amen. Right now, we're going to begin the senior tribute of Faith McCombs for 2010. Dominique Wilson, are you going to come forward at this time? Her mom, Nicole Henderson, her grandmother, Annie, and younger brother, Cole. The life 
guys.
Come on now. Come on. Yeah.
is, is Candice. Candice, sorry, Candice. Abuse. Abuse. Candice, you know that name. Earlier, Michael Phil Jennifer, Patricia O. Williams, who had to attend the
So we're doing it a build up. We're making a group. So right now, we're letting you see, starting with the directors. Maybe we have all the directors right here. Jason, would you like to say 
this night, sir. This night, from the seven.
we stand on your shoulders. Amen. Because in this group here are grandparents, fathers, mothers who gave your children to us for those 45 years. And then they grew up and they got married and had children and they gave their children to us. Amen. So many of those in this audience behind me are the children of the children of the children.
13 years old, and I was um, in my community. My friends were picking out, trying to decide if they wanted to be blood or print. Lord, I was trying to decide if I wanted to be I told to come or tell Here you go. 
connection to Lord's the Eastern Ends. Please uh, send that forward. Uh, as we, we, we can, you know, do a lot of uh, imitating of these uh, great men of God and uh... <laughs> All right.
for the turn. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
that if those who are in the audience can make their way quickly, um, if not, we'll save it and we'll catch up with you later. Um, so the first award we want to give is for a special college student. So as you see, each year students graduate and they come back. They're in college and they come back to help. A lot of the older um, young people that you saw were actually college students. So this year we want to give an award to a music mentor, to Joy Keith. <laughs> Use 
on YouTube. Yeah. 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 She's yeah. listening to Easton Nears on the map. Yeah. Yeah.
about the things that are most important. God first, our education, our history, and family. Thank you for praying for us and loving us when we go astray. Thank you for knowing our names and believing in our potential through our teen years. Thank you for knowing our names. Thank you for letting us be a part of something that is so much bigger than ourselves. Thank you for listening to us and being interested in our lives. Thank you for your cards, emails, Facebook posts, words of encouragement, and the occasional $5 during those broke colleges. Thank you for your compassion and for modeling Christ-like goodness, mercy, and generosity. Most of all, thank you for showing us how to give the Lord our total praise. We are forever grateful and can never thank you enough. We would not be who we are today without the love and guidance from you and the Easterners. We give the greatest thanks to God for blessing us with Sister Dorothy Carpenter-Wells. We love you, your Easterner family.
We'll have a closing prayer for the Valentine. This is the youth minister at King's Church of Christ. Thank you. While well, he's making his way, he wants to give you some fine, make some final acknowledgments. We want to thank all of the youth, the parents, the counselors, the congregations represented here, the ministers, the leadership, the directors, the coordinators, supporters, the donors, and all of you for all of the love and the support that you've given to the Eastern Airs. We want to give a special thanks to Brother Lawson uh, for uh, his support and generosity for all the years and allowing us to be able to uh, gather together here tonight uh, to uh, commemorate the 50 years of the Eastern Airs. Uh, also, uh, we want to give you uh, our total for tonight